what is going on guys welcome back to another swift tutorial today we're going to be following up the last video i posted about uh, chat messages and how to create a chat user interface uh, it was super well received you guys all loved it so today i figured we would follow it up with images uh, as our messages both sent and received so we're going to be building what you see here so again, we've got our chat interface. We've got our uh, entry bar down here. Uh, chat heads are still question marks because we haven't talked about those yet. But the cool thing is you can send images now. So that being said, make sure you absolutely destroy that like button. I know someone the other day commented that they broke their mouse when they destroyed it. So let's break a couple more mice. Um, subscribe if you're new. Get Xcode ready. Get excited. Let's jump right into it. Quick pause before we get into the video. If you haven't seen it already, I am hard at work putting together iosacademy.io, a community where all of us iOS engineers can come together, learn how to build some of the top apps like Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, in addition to interview prep to land some of these iOS roles at top tech companies. So if you're interested in the free and premium content to come, Head on over to iosacademy.io and enter your email address in the waitlist form and you will be notified as content becomes available. That said, let's get into the video. Let's begin by creating a new project. We'll stick with our single view application and let's call this photo messages. Save it on our desktop and let's jump right in. So I've actually taken the liberty of grabbing three images from Google Images before the video. So of course, we're going to drag these into image sets that we'll create. So head on over to your XE assets, create a new image set. Let's call this image one and this one image two and finally image three. And for each of these, for the first one, let's drag this in. Drag a second image in for the next one and third one. Whoops. There we go. So you can grab any images. It's irrelevant what the image is for the purposes of the video. But now that we have images, uh, we can start bringing in the things we need to get this working. And by things, I mean the only thing we need, which is the message kit framework. So the framework allows us to show a message UI. So we're going to bring it in via Cocoa Pods. So open up terminal cd into your project so what do we call this photo messages do a pod in it and now we can do an open pod file we want to bring in message kit in here so let's get rid of this comment bring in message kit make sure you lowercase this p it's super annoying the text that it uh, uppercases it but if it's not lowercase it doesn't work it won't install properly so close up text edit, run pod install, and you should see an installation message in green like the one over here, right here. And once, once you've got this installed, you can close your Xcode window with a command W, and you can open up the XE workspace now with an open project name that XE workspace. So let's uh, expand this. And we can actually take a look at the meat of the video, which is how to get photo messages working. So let's just uh, hit Command R with the simulator selected to make sure everything installed properly. We should see an empty app pop up here in just a few seconds, like so. And cool. So we, we're not going to create necessarily a list of conversations. We'll just use this primary view controller to model out how to use a photo message because everyone for the most part can go to a different video and figure out how to create a basic table view. So let's start by importing message kit and we're going to have this inherit from a message. Uh, I believe it's called messages view controller. There it is. We want to inherit from a message view controller. We need to set up three protocols and a few functions. So we're going to say message collection view dot message. Now we want message 
message collection view dot message data source itself. And let's copy and paste this. Uh, the next one that we want is message layout delegate and message display delegate. You're going to have some errors over here like so. And the reason is we haven't told this controller to conform to these protocols yet. So let's say message uh, data source message layout delegate and message display delegate. These errors will go away, but you'll get another one up here. So if we click this, it's basically yelling at us because we said the controller conforms, but we haven't brought in the minimum required functions. So hit the fix button. It'll stub out the functions for you. And let's move these to the bottom of the class, which is my other pet peeve. And let's fill these out. So we need to create a user message and a media object uh, to represent those items in our uh, chat UI. So before we fill these out, let's create those up here. So message kit contains protocols for each of those uh, object types. So we're simply going to use those. So we're going to say a struct of a sender is a sender type. A struct of a message is a message type. And a struct of media is a media item. For each of these, you'll see errors pop up in a second, like so. And the reason is, if we click this, you'll see that it wants minimum requirements that we're missing. So you can just simply hit fix and be lazy like me. Um, and it'll stub them out for you. So let's do that for these two as well. Hit fix and hit fix. And I don't know why Xcode puts so many line breaks in here. But let's get rid of these because we don't need all this. Uh, but actually, you don't need to implement any of these structs. You just need to define them like we have here. So now we need to create, for the purposes of a demo, a user. So I'm going to say current user is a sender. And the sender ID, we'll just call it self. And we'll say display name is John. We also want to create an array of messages like so. Keep in mind the sender we defined up here and it conforms to sender type. Same thing for message, conforms to message type. And uh, let's populate this messages array in view to load. We'll simply append a new message. And the reason I did it this way, instead of just defining the messages in here like this, is so we can use this user object above, current user. So we'll say sender is current user. And the message ID will just say one. Send date will be now. And this is the important piece. For the kind, we want photo. And a photo takes a media item. And you'll notice that this struct conforms to media item. And it has an optional URL, optional image, a placeholder image, which is non-optional, and a size. So we are going to say media, and the URL will be nil. The image is going to be UI image named image1. And let me put line breaks in here so this doesn't start line wrapping. And let's also copy this and put this in for the placeholder image. And the size, we'll just give some arbitrary size for now. Um, let's do 250 by 100. And you'll notice you're going to get an error here. And the reason you get an error is because this parameter expects a non-optional UI image. And when you call this UI image constructor, you're saying, go grab the image with this identifier. But what happens if we write this code, but we didn't actually use this identifier, it won't be able to find it. So it returns nil. So because we know we added this explicitly, we can simply add a force unwrap like so, and the error will go away. So cool, now that we've appended one message, uh, let's fill out these functions and run the app. And we'll, we'll append more messages after to see the other two images also. So current sender 
is simply going to be the current user we defined up here. And the framework uses this to figure out if the message should be on the right side, aka it was sent by us, or on the receiving side or the left side of the screen. Message for item, we're going to return messages index path dot section. So this always trips people up because generally in like a table view, you would say index path dot row. Uh, message kit, the framework we're using under the hood, uh, separates each message into a section. So if you use row, it actually doesn't pick up correctly. And for number of messages, we're simply going to return the count of our messages. And that should do it. Let's hit Command R, see if I broke anything. Hopefully not, and we should see our message here. So we can see we've got our message. Um, we've got the image in here. The chat head is just a question mark for now because we didn't fill it out. Um, and let's add a let's add a navigation bar to the top of this because looks like things are too close to the top. So let's go to the storyboard and simply select your view controller, go up to editor, and then embed in and you want to select navigation controller and let's also select the bar up here or this bar and let's call it chat hit command r one more time and you should see you have navigation bar up here so things aren't as close to the top so let's uh let's add two more messages and also make the height of this a little taller because it looks a little smushed so let's go back to the view controller and let's uh, let's make this 200 and let's make uh, let's make this uh, the other two images be sent to us so they'll be on the other side of the screen. So let's make a new user and call this other user and we didn't make sure we update their identifier. It just can't match. Uh, current user for obvious reasons because then the message kit won't be able to figure out the difference and let's change the name for the purposes of displaying it and let us copy and paste this so we need to change the message ID uh, let's also change the date so date adding time interval we'll say minus 2000 and this one will be minus 1000 and date so this will chronologically be from oldest message to newest message and what else do we want to do this is fine let's just update this to be message two two three and three and we don't need to change anything down here let's hit command r to build and run we should get our three images Okay, perfect. So we got the images, but they're all on the right side. Uh, and the reason is we forgot to update this to be other user. And other user, if you recall, we just defined up here as uh, Sam. And the noteworthy thing is the identifier is different. So let's say command R one more time. And now we have these uh, other photo messages on the left side of the screen. And of course, we have our uh, text entry bar down here too to send a new message. Uh, and it obviously doesn't do anything right now because we didn't implement it. But uh, this is how you can support photo messages. So uh, in addition to the last video I had on the text-based messages, you can see how all of these uh, under, under the hood things are very similar and how you can piece them together to make a very, very intuitive chat app, uh, almost identical to iMessage or WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger. So that said, that's all I had for you guys in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't smashed that like button already, make sure you absolutely destroy it. it helps out with the YouTube algorithms. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, stay tuned for more videos, and I'll catch you in the next one.